guys, it is Laura and you're watching Laura Xani and today I am here with a new video and yes, I am aware I am wearing a ghost dress but it is getting into the autumnal time and you know what autumn means? Halloween, my birthday and university. Basically, if you're going back to university, you're usually starting in September time. So, I am here today with your tips for uni and basically, this is what I learned in my first year at university. And basically, learn from my mistakes. You will go far if you learn from my mistakes. Let's get right into it. First thing I learned from university was the fact that Freshers Week. Now, I wasn't too bothered about Freshers Week because I don't drink a lot. I.e. I may have a glass of wine once in a blue moon, i.e. once every six months. <coughs> but apart from that, I don't drink. But I do have a very dirty habit of smoking. Now, I'm used to, well I was used to smoking about five a day when I was at college and when I was at home. When I went to university and when it came into Freshers Week, I was smoking 15 plus a day because my flatmates smoked and we would go out at night and have a couple of cigarettes, they would have a glass of wine, I would have a bottle of water and it just... I thought that's okay, that's just Freshers Week. I'll go down. Yeah, I went down to about eight a day. Still, I'm a roughly about eight a day because you just... As if you go higher, you just lose it. Second thing I learned is that sleep is your friend. Sleep as much as you can during Freshers Week because Freshers Week is the week from hell and you will get into a routine. That is the one week that like all the bad habits and everything will start and that is when your week just slowly goes downhill and it just ends in tears. So sleep is your friend. Make alone time for yourself. Make sure that although in Freshers Week you are so busy meeting new people, trying out new things, make sure you have time for yourself in that first month of university because then you will get into a routine of not being reliant on having friends and having them around you and stuff. You can just kind of have some chill time but make sure you have that alone time because you're gonna need it. Your flatmates are your friends and they're very helpful. Get to know them as soon as you get into the flat and become close. Now, arguments will probably start, it is inevitable, especially me, I was in an all-girl flat. Fallouts did happen, it is going to happen at some point. You're going to gnash, you're living with them 24-7, you're going to uh, disagree on some things but they are your friends and they are very helpful. Flat parties usually equal drama, there is usually some sort of drama at a flat party. It is the best thing ever. As long as you don't cause the drama, enjoy the drama at a flat party. It's like watching EastEnders. I do love a good flat party. Also, flat parties are better than going to like a club. If you're not a big drinker, make sure you go to loads of flat parties because they tend to be the best. Don't go to flat parties at people's flats who can smoke in their flats because most likely there will be weed and most likely you will get hotboxed. Another thing I learned, again, this will probably not happen to you, but for me, Freshers Week drinking for a non-drinker. So I did have three bottles of beer one night and I was quite a heavyweight when I was younger but then I had an incident and I became a very big lightweight and therefore three beers gets me particularly quite, quite tipsy basically drunk. And that ended in a three-way lap dance and falling for a boy who is way out of my league? And don't let a boy basically cuddle you and lead you on on Freshers Week because that happened to me. Now on to the actual university stuff. Listen again, if your uni has it, make use of it because it is the best piece of technology you'll ever use. Especially if you have had a night out the night before or anything or you have to miss it because you have an appointment and you have to go home. Listen again is your friend where the university basically puts up the lectures that you've missed. You see the slides and you get to listen to the lecturer's voice. Rent is fucking expensive. Right, if you go to a university like Stirling University or anywhere else that has new bills, don't be fooled by the fact it's really nice and really new. Da -da -da -da. Six hundred and sixty-nine pounds and seventy-five pence my rent was last year. A month. A month. I am now three nine nine sixty, which is brilliant, which means I still have SAS left over. So just remember that when you see a new build and you go, oh that's nice. Nah, 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 nah. Choose your accommodation wisely. Cherish going home. Because going home means home cooked meals. Don't go home too much, basically. 
I went home too much, far too much. And I feel like I missed out on some things. And I feel like I was reliant on going home and I felt like I was missing my parents more when I was at uni because I was so used to going home at the weekends. But cherish going home because going home is so lovely. And I know you'll go up to uni and be like, I don't want to go home, I'm so happy up at uni. No, you need to go home a couple of times. Couple of times each semester, I think. Three or four times a semester, so once a month basically. And um, just overall, be careful. Drink responsibly, smoke responsibly. Try not to do drugs. Try. No, I didn't say don't. No, I said try because it's university. And just try and go to as many lectures as you can. Try and bond and try and go to clubs and try new things. I regret not starting suds when I first went to uni and was in my second semester. I wish I'd started right from the start. But I am looking forward to going back for my second year and I think just study hard. I know it's going to be hard. If you want to know my studying tips, what studying tips? If you want to know them, give this uh, video a like, comment down below and tell me what your favourite thing is about uh, university if you're in university and comment down below and tell me what you're most excited for if you are going to university. But basically that is what I have learnt from my first year of university and I hope you will learn from my mistakes and I hope there are some tips in there for you that can be used. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys very soon with another video. See you then!